Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Bashim Abishai Bashim Rukak Wadash, and double honor to the apostles of the great no stone that taught me this truth through the inspiration and power of Yahweh Bashim Abishai, Yahweh Bashim Abishai Brakatham, to the elect that teach this word and as well as to the one third that do follow us when we teach this word. Right? And um, I, I just want to get into this over here as well, which obviously includes prophecy. You know, from time to time, we speak about the underground bunkers and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, which is the uh, uh, the chief executive of Facebook, which is also known as Meta. This reads, uh, CEO Mark Zuckerberg is building a sprawling 100 million compound in Hawaii to complete with plans for a huge underground bunker. A wired investigation reveals the true scale of the project and its impact on the local community. Um, of the two lanes highway that winds along the northeast side of the Hawaiian island of Ka Kauai, on the quiet stretch of Ranchland between the tourist hubs of Kappa and Hanalai, is an enormous secret construction project underway. A six foot wall blocks the view from a nearby road uh, fronting the project where cars slow to try to catch a glimpse of what's behind it. Security guards stand, watch at an entrance gate, and patrol the surrounding beaches on ATVs. Pickup trucks roll in and out, hauling and building material and transporting hundreds of workers. Nobody working on this project is allowed to talk about what they're building. Almost anyone who passes compound security from the carpenters, no electricians to painters, security guards is bound by a strict non-disclosure agreement. Uh, according to several of the workers involved in the project, and they say these agreements are a, formal, a formality. Multiple workers claim they saw or heard about colleagues removed from the projects from posting about it on social media. And the reason why they don't want people to talk about the project, because they don't really want people to actually come exactly where they're located in this underground bunker. Now, there's two reasons that I'm going to give as to, as to why they're setting up these underground bunkers to begin with, because they know that a day is going to come where people are going to go for their heads. And as well as ultimately, what they also know is that there's going to be a third world war that the powers that be are going to be staging, beginning with the bankers, as the slogan that um, something to the equivalent of Rivera. His last name is Rivera. Um, what's his name, man? What's his name? Michael Rivera or something like that. I used to watch him diligently at one time, right? But that was his slogan. All wars lead the bankers wars. So now let's even read the book of Amos uh, 9 and verse 1. I saw the Lord upon the altar and he said, smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will stay the last of them with the sword, and he that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Exactly. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them, and though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. So the hell part is talking about the underground bunkers that they're building. And the reason why they're building these things is so that they can survive the nuclear holocaust ultimately. Yes, to get away from people killing them, but ultimately, what is it for? It's for them to survive the nuclear holocaust, and they will survive it, as we're going to read some more. Shall my hand take them, and though they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out. Thence, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And that serpent is the Leviathan, which is the Godzilla of the Shemayim. Okay? So you're going to have water retreats. You're going to have space retreats. You're going to have underground bunkers. And these elites are going to be in them to get away from the, uh, the, um, the inevitable destruction which the Lord is going to send onto them. But in that, they're going to go into captivity. As this reads in verse 4, And though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them, and I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. Now, that's talking about something else. That's talking about Israelites. So, um, 
But from verse 1 to verse 3, it's talking about uh, these elites, primarily in today's time, because they're going to try to escape the destruction in many various ways. But in that, they're not going to survive. The Lord said that he's going to take them. And what does that mean? Meaning that when we are in those ships, we're going to be able to find out. Because it's going to be the Lord that's going to deliver us in those ships. And in those ships, we're going to find out that these elites are located here and there under the earth. Okay? And we're going to take them. And they're going to be our slaves. Okay? Uh, this is Psalm 56 and verse 7. Shall they escape by iniquity? And thine anger cast down the people of the Lord. No. The scripture says that the Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. So whatever the wicked has done, they're going to get paid for the things that they have done. That's in Galatians 6 and 7. That's in the book of, um, I believe, the book of um, Colossians 3 and 25. For the wrong that a man have done, he shall receive for the wrong that he have done. I'm roughly paraphrasing that scripture as well. So all of these precepts are written in regards to payback. All right, so they're going to pay for the things that they've done. All of the shit that they've done here on this earth, I don't mean to use that cuss word, but it just came out. Though I be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. Isaiah 24 and verse uh, 22. And this is what's going to happen after we, after we find our asses located the way they located that. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison and after many days shall they be visited. There you go. So that's going to be where the bus is going to stop for these people. They're going to go right into slavery. And that's why they're setting up these bunkers. That's the ultimate reason. Now, in their intention, as it is written, um, that there be many devices in the heart of men, but the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. So the ultimate reason why they have the idea of creating these bunkers because the Lord wants to save these elites to bring back the other descendants of Esau because a lot of people are going to be dying out here after this nuclear destruction. Billions of people are going to die through this nuclear destruction. So all of these people that have died, they're going to be brought back in the reincarnation as newborn babies and they're going to play out their judgment. And these devils that are going to be born, they're going to be born out of parents that are going to be slaves and they themselves will be slaves under us. Okay? That's going to be the outcome. Just like how we were born as slaves when we came out of our mother's womb throughout the process of, of time as Esau has been ruling over us, it's going to be the same for them. They're going to be born in a... Um, caste system which will be very low and as it reads that what they're going to be put into pits okay that's going to be their abode you see in slavery that we that we underwent they actually housed us but we're not going to house these people they're going to be put into pits okay let me read it again and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. So that pit is going to be that prison. Okay. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is I might probably do a part two to this. Because this was a short video. I had a couple of precepts. I just wanted to get to the point. That um these underground bunkers. That they have all around the world. um Are luxurious. And they have um, a lot of food in them because their intention is just to survive the nuclear holocaust, which they will. But it's only so that they can be used as slaves and um, their offsprings are going to be building our kingdom up. Okay? And I believe it ain't just the Edomites. You have even the nobles among the other nations that set them on the ground bunkers. Okay? And they're going to come out and, and, and uh, out of those bunkers, and they're going to do the same thing. Every single nation that's not of the nation of Israel, they're going to be our slaves. And they're going to be doing exactly what we tell them to do. We ain't going to lift nada. They're going to be putting in all of the work. We're going to be the one calling the shots. We're going to be the one making money while we go to sleep. 
And whether we want to walk up and down in our, our mansions, while we do all of this, we're going to be making money. We're going to be building our kingdom. We're going to be building on our nation. Okay, whether financially or whether equitably, we're going to be building ourselves up. So while we do nothing and we tell these people what to do, they're going to be putting in that work. Shalom.